everyone, this is Donald the Repentless. It's been a while since I've done a Repentless news brief, but I'm doing one now. And the story I want to talk about is one I ran across on Yahoo a little earlier today. And I have been and I've been looking on YouTube and nobody that I subscribe to anyways, like the young Kirks, I haven't noticed them put out a video or a segment on this. They may have, and they just haven't released it yet. But a lot of, like, things I reported on YouTube especially tends to be the negative things, you know. You know, we had the the shooting in Baton Rouge, the, the police shootings in Dallas, the um, Sterling guy, Rolando, whatever his name was, getting shot. And all the rhetoric around Black, Black Lives Matter and all that stuff, uh, you know, this story needs to be brought up because it kind of shows us that there is a way forward that, you know, I know I realize that protesting and bringing abuses to light is important, but ultimately, what is the point of the, pro of the protest if it doesn't lead to sitting down as a as a society as a nation to discuss the problems underlying the statistics and these happenings these news stories so this story is one where black lives matter in wichita kansas had planned to do a protest on sunday but then something happened and they sat down with the chief of police and I'm not making his name up, Chief Gordon Ramsey. Oh my God. I mean, the, <laughs> I wonder how many times he, he gets infused for the chef. I, I, I could have gone, done a lot of jokes on that. But anyways, they had planned to do this protest in this march in Wichita, Kansas, but they sat down with the chief of police, Gordon Ramsey, and they spoke to him. And they spoke for hours. And what ended up happening, instead of having the protest, instead of having the march, they had a cookout. The Black Lives Matter police and the community got together and had a cookout. And they had all kinds of activities. And they, and they got along. Okay? Whatever problems we have in this country in terms of race, and... I acknowledge that there probably is, to a certain extent, systematic racism because, you know, you see on the news all the time, the commentators like, well, blacks can do you know, the statistics about blacks and how much more crime they do, kind of bludgeoning the nation over the head with those statistics. And I, you know, this made just me my way, of, my take on things. If you're a young black man in America, and all the time you turn on your TV, I don't know, I don't think really watch the news, but if they flip through the channels on the news and they're being told over and over again, you're more likely to be a criminal because you're black, the statistics show it. What do you think the outcome of that would be? Telling a whole generation of people that their race is bad, evil. I remember I watched this um, video, and I can't, I don't, I haven't been able to find it again. But they took a, a group of small children, blacks and whites, and showed them two dolls. And I may have mentioned this in an earlier video, but, and one was white and one was black, and they were told, okay, point to the pretty doll. You know, they're baby dolls, you know. And they all pointed to the white, and the, even, the, even the black children. They were, seem to be taught somewhere in their life that that who they are as a race, who they are as people, are bad. They're evil. They're ugly, and this this just seems to be taught to them at an early age, and that's a societal problem. We need to figure out how we get black crime down. We need to sit down as a community, and in this case, in you know the black community and the police community and the community in general and talk about how to change this systemic targeting of young black people 
it's not enough to just protest it. There has to be solutions to it. I don't have the solutions. I'm not that smart. But if we're just t talking around the issue, and that's all we seem to do, is talk around the issue. Nobody I've heard yet has come up with some kind of solution, whether it be ed education or what have you. How do we change the society, societal pressures on black youth, the poverty, the gang violence, the this and that and the other, all the other things that tend to push that community into more crime than other communities. Um, like I said, I don't have the answer. But I think we have part of an answer in this news story where Black Lives Matter sat down with the police and talked. It's not just about marching in the street. It shouldn't be about marching. In the street. Well, it, it, it is important to bring out the issues, the problems, and shine a spotlight on it. But that's just the first step. You can bring awareness and you can shine the spotlight all day. But if you're not sitting down and coming up with real solutions to the problems, nothing is going to change. So, like I said, that's all I really wanted to do. I wanted to highlight the story. That I think it's a good story. I think the way the, the the people came together in this case and and came, you know came up with the idea of having a cookout it's something we need to see more of in this nation we can't just be bashing each other on the heads with statistics we need solutions real solutions i don't know what those solutions are i like i said but like I said, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below, and share it on social media. And don't forget to subscribe for more Repentless News Briefs and more Repentless content. This is Donald the Repentless signing off. Have an awesome day, everyone.